In addition to releasing a smaller Speedians called Jim Pal, which is set to be available soon, Speedians has also been making a ton of updates to their accessories, packages, and programs, and I want to catch you up on the latest because none of this was available when I did my initial review of the Speedians last year. So first up, we have the new adjustable bench press, and this bench press is definitely a big step up from the original, both because it allows for an adjustable incline all the way up to 90 degrees, but also because it's just much more robust and higher quality all around. You can see the material used here is much better. The bench is more broad with more stable leggings. The incline can be adjusted anywhere from 30 to 90%, and the seat can be lifted up as well to make it easier to use when in that incline position. And the legs here can also be released and folded up to make it easier to store when not in use. The only thing that I would say that I don't like a ton here is that the incline mechanism isn't rock solid and really isn't as stable as the rest of that bench press. Now, I think it's safe to use with up to 220 pound weights that Speedings allows for, but I certainly wouldn't want to use this incline with anything heavier than that. Now, it is much more stable when in the regular bench position, so overall, I do think this is a big improvement from the original. And I'll talk more about how it's priced and if I think it's worth that price later on in the video when I cover Speedience's new packages. Alongside that new adjustable bench, Speedience also has a new adjustable barbell. And by adjustable, I mean that where the cable inserts into the barbell can now be adjusted. And there's various holes in the barbell that this ring can lock into, which makes it easier to ensure that the cables do not get in the way of your hand position, depending on the movement. Additionally, the barbell is also quite a bit longer than it was previously. And again, I think all of this is a really good improvement. And I really like being able to adjust the cables and alongside that wider barbell, it gives you a lot more freedom in how you use it. Again, I'll talk more about the, how it's priced when we get into the new packages. But the best new package by far, and it's not even close, is the new Bluetooth controller ring. So what this is, is it's a Velcro ring that you wear that allows you to turn the weight on and off and even increase and decrease it between sets. So how it works is it connects to the Speedience via Bluetooth and you press it once to turn the weight on and once to turn it off, though this can be adjusted to a double press or a long press if you'd prefer via the settings. And you can also rotate the button in either direction to either increase or decrease the load between sets, which is just really cool. And I think this is a game changer for Speedience because previously each handle had Bluetooth capabilities, but you had to put new batteries in whenever they ran out and the barbell controller was sort of okay, but certainly not as easy to use as this controller ring. So now I just feel a lot safer and more secure when lifting with Speedience and it really does make everything a whole lot easier. I also like that you can adjust the weights with it. And so for example, I could do drop sets, decreasing the weight quickly between sets while the barbell is still on my back or hands. And I can do warm up sets with some light weight followed by some heavier weight without having to adjust the screen and everything like that. And this ring is rechargeable via a USB accessory. So all around, just really great. Now, alongside these new accessories, there have been a number of updates over the past year. Speedians pretty much updates their machine every month with new programs and features. For one, their workout creator has seen several improvements. You can now color code the template of various workouts, which helps make it easier to organize. And additionally, Speedience has this new AI workout editor. And the way that works is you can select all the movements you want to do and then have an AI build the workout for you with deciding the reps, sets, weights, and even the movement order. And all of this can be adjusted based on how long or how hard you want the workout to be and whether you want the exercise order to be prioritized around certain muscle groups or the equipment and cable placement. And there's also some extra options here like having the reps increase or decrease per set or have a pyramid scheme. Now it's not perfect, of course, but I think it is a great option to use to help get sort of a framework for a workout going and then of course you can continue to edit it all even further if you would like. And if you don't want to build your own workouts, Speedience has been adding new programs pretty much every week. So I think they are over 50 programs now that range from two to five weeks. So there really is a lot of options here to choose from. Additionally, they have made some improvements to the spotting and safety aspects. So first off, no matter what, if you get stuck or if the barbell stops moving for a while, I've noticed the weight will automatically turn off. 
and that's really good because I don't believe that weight shutdown was an automatic thing when I first reviewed it. And there are two additional spotting modes that can be turned on. The first is sort of like a real spotter. So if you're moving slowly or just struggling with a weight, Speedience will lower the weight slightly to help you finish the rep. And the second option will allow Speedience to turn off the weight even faster if you stop for more than just a few seconds at the bottom or top of a rep. Okay, so now I wanna get into some of the new packages here because now there are actually six different packages to choose from and that can all be a bit confusing because it's not super easy to tell what is different between them right away. So first off, you have the works, which includes that new adjustable barbell, adjustable Bluetooth ring, and almost all of the accessories. The big thing to note here is that the works package comes with the regular bench press and not the adjustable one. So if you upgrade to the works plus for $150 over that regular price, that will get you the adjustable bench press. Now, adjustable bench presses do tend to be pretty expensive, so this seems like a pretty good deal. Of course, there are better inclined benches out there, but they typically cost pretty much double, if not triple, this price, and I do think there is a lot of value in having that adjustable bench press available. Now, if you select family, that's $300 over the base price, and for that amount, you get the rowing bench attachment. And this package does not come with the adjustable bench, so really you're paying all of that $300 extra for the rower, and that I am a bit mixed on. I tried that rower for a short amount of time a while ago, and it definitely doesn't feel as good as a regular dedicated rower, but on the other hand, a regular rower is going to cost around $1,000 or more and take up additional space. So if you have a small space and you also wanna be able to get in some cardio, it's not the worst option that you could choose. And at $300, it's certainly not unreasonable. And then if you want that adjustable bench press, in addition to the rower attachment, you can pay $450 over the base price and have pretty much everything. Though, unfortunately, this does not seem to include a few things like the storage rack, the ski handles, or the squat rack accessories, which you can purchase separately. Now, we have two more options, and these are the same as the others with the same name, but with a much larger 32-inch screen compared to the 21 and a half inch that comes with the original Speedience. Now, I saw and reported about this version a while ago, but Speedians ended up just selling these commercially, so you couldn't get one if you went to the website. But evidently, they had so many people reaching out to them, asking them if they could buy one that they have decided to make it available for purchase directly. So if you want to get the Works Plus Max, you'll get everything that is available in the Works Plus, but with a larger 32-inch screen. And the difference here is about $550 for that larger screen. Now, you should also know that the bigger screen is not able to be adjusted like the smaller screen can, as the smaller screen can be flipped to face down when you're doing movements like benching or hip thrusts, and the screen can even rotate upside down so that you can see all of your reps and everything. And that is not possible with the big screen size. So personally, I would just go with the smaller size, but if you really like the idea of that bigger screen, well, now you have the option with both the Works Plus Max and the Family Plus Max package. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, Speedience is releasing a new, smaller, more portable version called Gym Pal, which is releasing very soon. And we should have a review up here at Connect the Watts in mid to late August. So make sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss it. As always, this is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts. Appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.